Hi guys, Alexis here from Dynasty Preppers. I just wanted to do a quick little election talk. Um, I'm not going to preach any kind of political agenda to you. Um, I think we all have the right to choose and the right to vote. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about some really strange things I've been reading on Facebook today about children um, and people talking to their kids. And I don't know. One lady on my friend feed in Facebook was very upset that her son woke up and was crying and worried that World War III was going to happen and they were all going to die. And I'm like, hmm, well, that kid is getting that fear somewhere. I don't know if it was from their parents, but she said, no, we don't talk about politics in our house. And I was thinking, well, that might be why he's so scared. Um, not giving any children, you know, the tools they need to deal with certain things, especially if they go to um, public school, um, you know, what they're hearing there. If you're not giving them guidance at home, they're going to just follow what everyone else is doing. And I don't know, it just seems really strange to me that people out there just don't seem to be having these hard conversations with their children. Why? Why has that changed? I remember my parents always talking to me about different things and I don't know, we talked to our kids, right? We obviously had a choice. We um, made our cho choice known to our children. Um, they knew exactly who we were voting for and they also knew that we weren't totally thrilled with who we were voting for, but either way, we'd be okay, right? I mean, yes, things can happen. That's why we prepare. That's why we do all this. But if we don't explain that to our children, how are they going to get it? I mean, I think that that's one big deficit we have in this country right now is that we don't talk to our kids. We don't let them know the scary things. We try to hide them from them. And then when we do that, when those things come up, they don't know how to deal with it. And then as adults, you have these adults, these grown adult people who don't know how to deal with little things that come up that shouldn't be such a big deal. And so, you know, I just really want to stress that we're about a family preparedness channel that you have to speak with your children. You have to tell them the hard things. No, you shouldn't scare them. You know, of course, some things are scary. We have a very, very, um, I don't know how do you want to explain it. We have a child who's very scared, right? Our oldest is very, that's just her personality. She's scared of things. But we still, you know, put these hard things in front of her and we talk through them with her. We, you know, and we tell her how to come to conclusions, how to, you know, deal with certain things. If you don't deal with them, then you're a 20 year old out on your own, trying to deal with these things on your own with no guidance. So talk to your kids about election. Talk to them about, you know, what the good and the bad of each person is. They're going to see it on TV. They're going to talk about it at school. They're going to talk about it with their friends. Don't leave their opinion up to other people. Don't leave their opinion up to their teachers at school. It's one of the things that made me the most angry. Do not let government schools raise your children. If your kids go to school, fine, public school, fine. But you have a job as a parent to help guide them in certain situations. Don't leave that up to teachers. You don't know what their beliefs are. You know, this is why we have children, right? Is to lead them and guide them in our path. Yes, they're all going to have their own opinions, but help them. And so my point is, you know, with the election, with whatever, preparedness, anything, please, please, please just talk to your kids. Let them know why you're doing certain things. My kids weren't scared this morning when they woke up. Obviously, um, the candidate, you know, of who won the presidency, they're not scared. And if it would have been the other way, if Hillary would have won, they wouldn't have woke up scared and thinking we were going to go to war, you know, tomorrow and the end of the world was coming, you know. Granted, it would be two different worlds, right, for them. But let them know, right, that, you know, it's not the end all, that we prepare for a reason, there are things going to happen no matter who we elect. You know, they're not going to save us from everything. Stop putting that out there, you know, that this is like the only, um, it's the end, right? It's not, okay? We, we lived through Obama. We'll live through Trump. We would have lived through Hillary. You know, it's just going to take different directions in our country. 
keep preparing, keep talking to your children. Please talk to your children. Explain why you um, store food, right? Most of the reasons why, like, oh, yes, we all, you know, for the big, huge events, that's why you have in her back of her mind. But really, what are you going to use them for? Snowstorms, hurricanes, earthquakes, loss of job, anything like that. Most likely, that is what you're going to use them for, right? And so start with that. You know, we keep food so that when we're in a climate where we might have a blizzard, right? So that we don't have to run out and get food when the snow starts to fall. We, you know, we keep medical supplies so that if we can't get to the doctor, we can help somebody or we can help ourselves, right? Explain the simple part of preparedness to your children. Give them the tools, set them up for a positive future and to be self-reliant as adults. That's what we want, right? We don't want our kids to have to rely on the government. So please, you know, please talk to your kids. And that's all I got to say today. But just keep asking yourself, what have you done today to prepare your dynasty? And please, if you guys like our videos, go ahead and give us a like and a share. And please subscribe to our channel. We have tons of stuff coming up. Um, we have some reviews. We'll have some training. All different kinds of awesome stuff for our family preparedness. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.